What's going on guys? Welcome to the thousand dollar budget arsenal. This is of course the second video in the series of videos that I'm doing about where to put your money if you're on a particularly tight budget. Obviously today we're going to be talking about where to put your money if you only have a thousand dollars to spend on your quote unquote personal arsenal. Now of course this is an update of a video I did about three or four years ago because prices and the market has changed. So time to update these videos. So let's just kind of jump right in. You have a thousand dollars. You want to have the firearms you need just in case anything happens to take care of whatever situation might arise. Where do you put your money? That's what we're going to talk about here today. Now, traditionally speaking, when it comes to a quote unquote personal arsenal, to me, I kind of default to the three gun solution, which is good shotgun, good pistol, good rifle. But there are obviously other options when you're on a tighter budget. When you start talking about $1,000 or less, sometimes it can be hard to get three guns out of that. Now, it is doable, and I'm going to show you how it's doable, but it can be hard. So we're going to look at this not just from the three-gun aspect, rifle, pistol, shotgun, but I'm also going to show you what guns you should get if you just want a rifle and a pistol, or if you just want a shotgun and a pistol. All right, so we're going to, we're going to kind of talk about it from all three of those angles. All right, so let's jump right in and we're going to start with the three gun angle. All right, so first let's start off with a rifle. You only have $1,000 to spend. What rifle should you get? Now, out of my personal collection, this is the rifle that I would recommend. This is a Marlin 3030. We got a seven round capacity lever action, very accurate, very capable defensive tool. No, it's not semi auto. Yes, it has less capacity than an AR, or an AK, or anything like that. I understand that. But it is a very, very effective tool, a very effective rifle, even in a defensive situation. Now, another rifle that would fit perfectly in this particular category would be an SKS. Both of those guns are going to come in at about $400 or less. This one you can pick up for three to $400. An SKS is going to be about 350 to 400, depending on where you get it. That is a semi-auto, uh, more of a, a standard quote unquote defensive rifle. Um, and again, both can be had for $400 or less. And that's where I'm going to put my cap is $400 for a rifle. If you only have a thousand dollars to spend and you're trying to get three guns out of that, Put your cap on your rifle at 400 bucks. Now, let's talk about pistols, right? Um, when it comes to being on a really tight budget, you already dropped $400 for your rifle. How much do you want to drop on your pistol? Well, I'm going to say another $400. And I'm going to say go with something like this. This is a police trade-in Glock. Now, there are a lot of police trade-in guns out there. Glocks, Smith & Wessons, SIGs. There's plenty of SIG P250s out there. And they all range, for the most part, depending on where you get them, but you can find police trade-in guns, well-made, well-maintained, dependable, reliable handguns in that three to $400 price range. There are places like Sportsman's Outdoors. You can hop online and find SIG P250s for 309. You can find Glocks for 379. So my cap for your pistol, a good, reliable, dependable police trade-in Glock, Smith & Wesson, SIG is going to be $400. So you got $400 here, you got $400 here. That's $800 of your $1,000 budget. That leaves you $200 to go with a shotgun. And of course, I'm going to recommend getting yourself a good Maverick 88, the Mossberg 500 clone. You can pick these up for $200 or less. And if you put a, well, a little bit of time and effort into one of these, you can pimp these out to make them a really, really nice, effective defensive tool. I've got one that has the barrel chopped, different stock. It's got a side saddle on it, and it is set up as a defensive shotgun, so you don't have to stick with the long 26-inch barrel if you don't want to. But $400, $400, $200, there is your $1,000 budget arsenal. Okay, and let's move on to the two-gun solution for the $1,000 budget. And again, there's two ways to look at this, either pistol and shotgun, or pistol and rifle. Let's start with pistol and rifle. If you have a thousand dollars to spend, okay, and you want a good pistol and a good rifle, what rifle should you get? I'm going to recommend something like this. This is an AMD 63. Pick it up from ClassicFirearms.com. Five hundred and fifty bucks. Now, obviously, I've done a couple things to it because it doesn't look exactly the same. But just getting that base model rifle is going to be five hundred and fifty dollars. Now. Let's say you don't like the AK. Well, another good option is going to be something like this, just a really basic AR-15 build. This one, again, cost me right at about $550. Depending on what accessories, you can go up to $600 as well on either one of these. So let's go ahead, $1,000 budget, two guns, rifle, 
and a pistol. Cap yourself off on your rifle at $600. That's going to leave you $400 for your pistol. And I'm going to go right back to what I said at the beginning of this video and go for a good police trade-in Glock, Smith & Wesson, SIG, whatever it is. You can pick them up in that $300 to $400 range and boom, done. There is your two-gun solution for a $1,000 budget for a good rifle and a good pistol. And here we are, the final option for if you find yourself on a $1,000 budget and you want a good shotgun and a good pistol, what should you get? Well, here are my recommendations. First up on the shotgun is going to be something like this. Now, this is a more tactical model, Mossberg 500, but maybe you don't like Mossberg. Maybe you like Remington 870s. Maybe you like Winchesters. There are plenty of options out there uh, for getting something that's going to have better capacity, better sights, a little bit of an upgraded shotgun. Uh, this one I paid $320 for the base model, and I added some accessories to it. Total, I've got about $400 in this particular shotgun, and that's going to be my cap for this particular breakdown for a $1,000 budget. If you want a good shotgun and you want a good pistol, cap yourself off at that $400 range. Now you could push it to $450 if you want, but I'm gonna say you can get a good solid shotgun, whether it's a Mossberg, a Remington, a Winchester, whatever, for $400 and that shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. And of course, that's gonna leave you $600 for your pistol. Now, for $600 you can do a lot. My recommendation, one of them is going to be just a good Glock. A brand new Glock is going to cost you about 550 bucks plus tax. So you're going to come in at just under that $600 price range. Probably have a, enough money to go buy another magazine or two, whatever you want to do. But a good solid Glock. Now, maybe you don't like Glocks. Maybe you like M&Ps. Maybe you like SIGs. For $600, there are a lot of options out there on the table for getting yourself a good, solid, brand new, reliable, well-made pistol. So again, I'm going to default to Glocks just because it's kind of the go-to and everybody knows what I'm talking about and everybody kind of has that price range in their head, but it can be anything. So there you go. Good shotgun. I've got a Mossberg 500 Tactical. Good pistol. We've got a Glock 17. So that is going to be your final solution for the $1,000 budget arsenal so that's it guys i appreciate you watching you got any questions or comments leave that stuff down below and we'll talk to you later